Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 6 of Objective-C on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering Objective-C's NS string, which is a very important concept in Objective-C, obviously, because strings are what hold all your text for a lot of things that you do. So, knowing how NS string works a little bit will allow you to move on with um, the more important things in Objective-C. So once you understand how an a string sort of works, um, it allows you to do a bunch of other things that you want to do later on. So we're just uh, kind of clearing this out of the way so that we can use it for later tutorials. So NS string is basically Objective C's way of holding text strings. Um, when we were using C, we would use character arrays, but NS strings work much, much, much better. And uh, we'll see how that works right now. So go ahead and just delete your comments here or whatever you want to do. And let's just create an NS string. So to start out, we're going to start by typing in a string. And every time you use a um, pretty much a class, which NS string is, it's a class. So anytime you're using a class in Objective C, you're generally going to be using pointers. <laughs> So, in that case, we're going to be using a pointer and then hit string. And don't get too worried about using pointers in Objective-C because it actually becomes quite natural. And for pretty much any object you create, you'll just be creating a pointer and it, it's not as touchy as it is with C. So, uh, just to clarify, when you're creating pretty much any class uh, object in Objective-C, since NS string is a class, we're creating a string object. So pretty much any time you create an object in Objective-C, you want to create it with a pointer. So we just say string, and like we did in the last tutorial, we allocate a new instance of this string, or the NS string class. So to do this, we just say NS string, and with this, we are going to allocate enough space for this string, and in it, and now there's um, a bunch of different init methods that you can call. Now uh, you can call init with string, init with format, and there's tons and tons of other ones. But we're going to keep it simple, and we're going to learn init with string and init with format. So what this basically does is allows you to initialize your string with certain text. So if you want to say init with string, this will allow us to enter. Uh, some kind of text and it will store that in the string variable. So in it with string and we'll just say I hope you enjoy these tuts. And we'll just end it like that. So there you go. Um, that's basically all you need to do in order to initialize a string. Now uh, if you're familiar with Objective-C you might be yelling at me right now for uh, memory stuff but um, if you don't even know what I'm talking about, that's fine. We're not going to be worrying about how this works with memory, because what you'd actually have to do later on is get rid of this string, but we're just going to uh, ignore that aspect for right now and just allow us to create this object. So um, we're not going to worry about memory because it gets complicated. And of course we want to keep this tutorial simple, so let's keep it simple. So again, what we do is we create an and a string object and we call it string we allocate enough space for that ns string object and then we initialize with the init with string method init with string method and we just initialize it with this string of text right here so now if we want to print this out all we have to do is print out this string so um, to do to print out any object in objective c we use the percent at format specifier and this works for any object that you have in NS or sorry in Objective-C. So uh, in this case we're just going to type in string and since string is of the NS string class our percent at works perfectly for our string. So that's all we have to do to type this in and now let's go ahead build and run this. So once that's good we'll go up to the console and as you can see, I hope you enjoy these tuts. So uh, that's that. And as you can see, it's quite simple. Uh, nothing too complex here. We're just creating the string object like we did with the previous uh, class that we made. 
uh, NS strings class works the same way, so we allocate enough space and we initialize it with a string. And that gives string this value right here. And then when we just print it with NS log, we use our percent app format specifier to say that we are going to print out a class, and that class is of NS string. So it knows what to print out. So let's um, change some things around here. And let's say that we want to put uh, some kind of variable thing in here. So what we do for that is we use the init with format method, which is looks like so. Not much different, but it allows us to put in some different variables. Or um, we use we can use percent or we can use format specifiers when we're giving our string. So for instance, I am, uh, and then we can use percent d for a number, uh, and then we just say years old. So then I can just type in the value of 16 and leave it as that. So there we go, I am 16 years old, and uh, now that we used a percent D format specifier, by using the init with format method, we're allowed to use different variables to add on to the string, and so it knows exactly what to do with this variable at the end. So that's the init with format method allows you to format your string. So now let's go ahead and build and run this, and it should work the same way. So let's go ahead, open up our console, and as you can see, I am 16 years old. So that's all pretty nice. Now I want to talk about another way that you can create a string. And this way is a little bit different, and you'll see why in just a second. But we're going to delete all this for now. and uh, we're going to do things a little bit differently. So the way I just showed you keeps your string in memory for the entire time of your program. So until you say that this string is going to leave the program, it will stay in your program for that entire time, which is good in some cases because we usually want to keep this. But we can also create temporary objects that will be destroyed after a while. And this also gets dangerous, though, because if we have to call this later and that string isn't going to be used, then uh, we run into some problems. But for now, this program is short enough and it doesn't really matter. So um, I'll just show you the shorthand way of kind of creating a string. So we can just say ns string, and we can say string with, and we can say string or string with format, either way. And it works the same way as it did before. So, um, hi, I'll just put that in. So, ns string, string with format. And as you can see, this is pretty simple. It's not as complicated as the other way. But again, the other way allows us to keep the string as long as we want to. Uh, in other words, we'd want to get rid of it later, and that's when we tell it to get rid of it. But this way, it automatically gets rid of it uh, at a certain point. And this is, I'm just showing you all the different ways that you can create a string. So uh, we'll go ahead and leave it like that, build and run, go up to our console, and as you can see, we get the value of high. So uh, I hope you kind of understand how the string class works. It's not that complex. And you'll, as you'll go on with Objective-C, you'll notice this very familiar thing sort of happening with all the methods. They, they look a lot, a lot alike. So um, our basis for a lot of the things we do is um, looks like this. So this kind of structure, we have an allocation and then we have an init method. And this works for a lot of the objects that you see in Objective-C. So just get familiar with these things, play around with the strings, and if you want to look at some other methods, you can do that as well. But uh, this was the tutorial on strings, and believe me, there's a lot more to cover, but we're just uh, brushing over the basics so that we can uh, move on with some other things in the future. All right. Uh, if you have any questions on this tutorial, leave them in the comments, or just send me a message via YouTube. Thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you, and see you next tutorial.